From issues continue to plague Diamond Lakes Regional Park, and they've already spent $900,000 over the past five years to fix them. News 12's Craig Allison is getting to the bottom of when South Augusta can hope to stop relying on those porta potties. These bathrooms have worked for a few months in three years. That's unacceptable. We're women, and we have to use the restroom sometimes. I mean, for different reasons. Fonda Washington and her fitness class have been meeting four times a week here at Diamond Lakes since COVID. While they love the outdoor environment, it's been frustrating to hold it in. How does that make you feel? I'm unimportant because the restroom should be working out here for us, just like anybody else anywhere else in the city, anywhere else in the county. Ron Lampkin, interim director of Central Services, says this is what the inside of the pipes look like right now. The substance was identified as some loose towels and maybe some epoxy um, that could have potentially come from uh, work that was done before. He says it's going to take another $850,000 to fix these restrooms and pipes. Interim Administrator Takia Douse claims Universal Plumbing also plays a part in being paid but not finishing the work they were supposed to do. Well, that's incorrect. We completed the work that we were hired to do. Uh, the work that we were hired to do is not related to the work that they're talking about right now. As for Fonda and her fitness class, they're just hoping the city can figure out what's been holding up the process sooner rather than later. In South Augusta, Craig Allison on your side. And if commissioners do approve the fix, Lampkin says the contractor he has in place would be able to get things up and running within the next three months.